Okay, so here we are with the lovely lid on. Oh, she's a little worn out. Where's my mama? Oh, I love my mama. She was a good girl. And she's a very good mama because she's nursing these girls and boys. Well, there's one girl. And finally named them all. This is the first born one. His name is Iternin. I might have mangled that pronunciation, but somebody I know will tell me if I did. <laughs> And he's piebald, and I think he's going to get a little bit of a brindle in that piebald. Yep. And this is his brother, Fergus. He's a big boy. He's much bigger than the other pups. So he's probably going to be really tall. And he's a solid brindle. And he's got a little Irish mark tail, look. Oh, that's so cute. And he's got his little white socks. And he's got a little white blaze on his chest, but we're not going to interrupt him while he's eating. So he looks just like his um, stepdad, Buck. <laughs> this is Finnegan. And Finnegan will look just like his mama. That's what she looked like when she was born. This is what you call a silver fawn. Right? Oh, he's a boy. He's got a little, a little white blaze on his tummy. Oh, look at that. He's so cute. Oh, oh. He might say that gray. I don't know. We'll see. But he's probably gonna... He's probably gonna be the same color as his mama. She was a little gray girl and she faded to a platinum blonde. And this is my little girl, Una. And I believe she's gonna be a fawn with like a little, a little bit of a blue cast, maybe. There's some black highlights. And I think she's got a little black snout. A little bit. That'll probably fade. We'll see. This is so cute. Oh, little baby girl. Oh, there's my Una. Here you go. Let's see sit in that heat pad. Are you getting hungry? Come here. I'll help you out. Here's your mama. Yeah, it's the best place for you right there. There's your mama. Oh, baby girl. And she's got a little, little Irish mark tail. And she's a good girl. Oh, she's a baby girl. Yeah. Yeah. And this little fellow under here is a pie of brindle, like his papa. And so I named him Casey. Because he's Karen's clone, Casey. <laughs> He's a lot like his papa, and his papa is a super sweet dog. He's a total Velcro dog. We had on, uh, was mean to him today because he came in the whelping room. <laughs> but he is a really, really good daddy dog. He's just curious. He's very, he's the least aggressive dog I've ever seen. She rules the roost, and <laughs> she tells him what's what. I like this little yearning. He's such a cute little fella. He's got a little cow print pattern. Yeah. Oh, here's a mama. Well, I can't nurse if you do that, mama. There you go. Oh, yeah. Here's my mama. Oh, yeah. I love my mama. Yes, I do. Yeah, you know, yeah. You're a good mama. She really is. That's She kind of got rough with Kieran today, but that's only because she's her maternal instincts are wonderful. I mean, she chewed all the cords, and she's just a really good mama. She's just really protective, <laughs> but she is a wonderful mother. She's an Irish traveler's dog, and say what you will, but the Irish travelers have the finest whippets in all the world, because they breed them for the hunt, because the whippet feeds the gypsy. Makes the noble sacrifice of their body and life to feed the gypsy. And that's why I don't let my dog run to the woods. <laughs> I don't want to get hurt. You know. But I do let her have puppies. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. 
Uh, two of these puppies are going to be going bye bye. <laughs> I already have, uh, I unfortunately have two requests for a girl and only one girl. And I just want both of you to know that I really want to make both of you happy, but I think I'm going to have to make a decision based on how many other people to make happy. The needs of the few over the many. Hmm. I think there's three people on one side and two on the other. Oh, Casey's in full view now. Look at the. Oh, that's a pretty brindle. You know, and this little fellow, he's going to look just like his stepdaddy buck. And if you look through my videos, that was the sire of the first litter. He was a wonderful, sweet dog. And I'll give you a little hint. This dog might be a little bit better. <laughs> the buck is wonderful. Just a wonderful, wonderful dog. Sweet, sweet temperament. So is Kieran. Kieran has the same wonderful temperament as Buck. So it is my opinion that if your American Whippet does not have the same temperament as Buck or Kieran, you unfortunately did not get the right dog. <laughs> but yeah, a good, a good male American Whippet should be like a Velcro dog, very non-aggressive, very easy to house train. Um, I've never seen one engage in marking behavior. I mean, literally, they go all in one spot. They do not mark. And that is the only breed I've ever seen do that. So I raise puppies for two reasons. I love puppies. And if you're an owner of one of my other puppies, you know that I was very happy when I found somebody I knew would take good care of the puppy. And I got to give you a really nice puppy, and I got a really nice new mommy and daddy. It's the best feeling in the world, <laughs> giving someone their puppy. So I'm probably going to make three new friends this litter. Um, I'm not super picky about who I'll sell to, but it's pretty much all about you have experience with whippets, greyhounds, or Italian greyhounds, because, uh, you know, the sighthound is a sensitive breed you know they're like kind of emotionally sensitive you know how to like motivate them <laughs> and, and, and that hurt their feelings <laughs> it takes a lot of patience but they're really they're really eager to please now these ones will be these ones will be real real easy to train as far as housebreaking and lead training and everything like that but like like all whippets when they get a little older they get selective hearing <laughs> You know, but that's uh, that's the only thing. You, know, you just you can't you cannot walk them off lead. They will chase anything small and furry. Other than that, I have any real problems with mine. If you give them a chewy and teach them the difference between good and bad chew, they will chew on the rawhide and not on your house. Potty training for the first litter was amazingly easy. And lead training for the one dog I had long enough to lead train took about four sessions to produce a proper heel from the first time I put the lead on his neck. She took five. <laughs> She's a little more stubborn. But yeah, they're that easy to train. Uh, that same dog, I we paper trained him and then I taught him, I, you know, he had two accidents where I scolded him. He stopped what he was doing. I took him outside. He finished what he was doing and he got like a birthday party worth of praise <laughs> and two of those and he had it figured out after the paper training very very easy wonderful wonderful dogs whippets are I think, best companion dogs ever they they are extremely quick and agile and fun to watch run they're very affectionate and they're also docile enough to live in a caravan World's fastest couch potatoes. <laughs> they do shed a little bit, but they are uh, short hair. Oh, and there's Daddy. Hey, Kieran. He's not coming in here because she she chased him out. 
He's just scared of her. <laughs> He's such a sweetheart. Hey, don't don't go drinking out of the toilet. You're on camera. Hey, no, leave it. Hey, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. All right, that's good. Good, good, good boy. <laughs> he did just what I wanted him to. Got out of the bathroom and did not come in here. Well, we got him trained to leave it on. <laughs> Kieran is a perfect gentleman with his puppies, but Leodon prefers that he stay out of her space right now, so we're indulging her. Oh, this, is so cute. this is my firstborn on this litter. She was second. She's an active little girl. And this is, they were born about 30 hours ago. <laughs> so they're doing pretty good. They're nursing really well. They're very vigorous. And We gotta wash your shelter, Mama. <laughs> this little guy, I couldn't believe how big he was. He was the last one out. He gave her a little bit of grief, I think. Fergus, he's a big, strong dog. Oh, he's gonna be a beaut. This one, he's going to be just like his daddy, I bet. Oh. <laughs> if you want the sweetest Velcro dog ever, if this fella is, is, is similar in personality as he is, looks to his father, this is the dog for you. Here is my Velcro dog. He sticks to me all the time. And I hope this little guy is a lot like the last gray boy I had because he was really service dog capable. Oh, not his backside needs cleaning. He was really service dog capable. He was, uh, what I noticed was unusual about him is when I would pick him up, most of the pup's hearts would race. But when I picked him up, he would stay perfectly calm Perfectly calm, and he would watch what I would do. I was texting on my phone, and he was watching me press each button. And he was trained to be a service dog, and he lives out in Colorado now. His name is Flynn. <laughs> I name all my gray boys Finnegan until somebody keeps the name. <laughs> Only one girl kept her name last time. Oh, look, there's your belly. Look at that one. Oh, oh, good boy. Oh, you're a strong one. That's my name of Fergus. He is. Bad camera work. He's a strong lad. Yes, he is. Yeah, as you can see, he's got a white blaze down his belly. Yeah. Oh, that was too bright for you, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. If you clicked on this and you're not going to get the puppy, you're probably like, these are so boring. But this is where the new owners get to see their puppies when they're real little. Hmm. This guy reminds me of the little Indiana, the Italian Greyhound I had. Oh, here, buddy. Here you go. Yeah. You right down with your brother. Yeah, here you go. We got a similar pattern. Uh, I rehomed in the unit because I didn't want him getting picked on by a white bed that was having puppies.
Oh, you're so precious. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if Brindle is going to pop up in those spots or not. Hmm. Well, I think it's time to get a nice warm washcloth and give you a little bit of a sponge bath, baby. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And then I'm going to make the turkey dinner. Yeah, I feed my uh, my dogs a raw homemade diet. I think I can make a video. I should make a video so you can see how easy it is. It requires a a pretty good uh, meat grinder. You know, the bigger the meat grinder, the easier it's going to be to do. But I just get young turkeys. Uh, I usually go for like a 12 and a half pound turkey because they're easier to cut up and they don't jam the grinder at all. And bigger turkey, you have to cut some of the bones and pieces before you grind it. But you take the whole turkey. And the only thing that doesn't get run through is the plastic pop-up timer, the little plastic leg tie, and the little paper bag they put the organs in. Everything else, skin, bones, organs, the whole thing goes right through the grinder. So it's very efficient money-wise. It's 99 cents a pound is what I have, you know, usually pay. And then you just add a little bit of uh, fruit and vegetables. You know, and it's a really relatively small amount of those. I use like about a pound and a half of sweet potato for 25 pounds of turkey. And then like a cup of cranberries, a handful of parsley, a broccoli crown, an apple, um, one gram per pound of ginger, one gram per pound of garlic, uh, a stick or two of celery, and a cup of cranberries. Did I mention already? And uh, just run that all through the grinder. And you've got, for about a buck and a quarter, fine raw dog food. You want to freeze it and thaw out each day's portion. And uh, a 30-pound dog, I eat about two pounds a day, roughly. pound and a half, two pounds a day, depending on the breed. About 4% or 5% of their body weight. Puppies got to eat about 10% of their body weight. When they get, I wean them right onto raw, and man, does it ever, it works. Raw diet is, uh, I think, helps her produce better milk, and um, it uh, also makes less waste, an easier cleanup. And it's just a much better way to feed your dog, and it's just not that hard. It's, you know, once a week I make dog food. I cut up two turkeys and run for the grinder. <laughs> that little feller can eat right there, let me tell you. Wow. Oh, careful, Mama. Here, let's move him over here. There you go, buddy. There you go. There you go, Mama feed you. Yeah, there you go. That was not on purpose. <laughs> oh, Mama. Yeah, I know. It's, it's a lot of work. You do all the work for the first four weeks. Yes, you do. You do all the work. After that, I gotta do the work. <laughs> this little fellow is just adorable. Mm. I just love the pattern on it. Come on, here, you're gonna get cold. Here you go, here's a ball. Here you go. Ernan. Yeah, there you go. Fergus. Fergus. Ernan. Finnegan. <laughs> I love that pattern, though. 
I was thinking that was a blue when he came out, but it looks like it's going to be like a nice brown fawn. Maybe a touch of brindle, hint of brindle stripe or two. But I love the cow print pattern that you get of a black and white or blue and white brindle, piebald. This guy's just got the classic piebald brindle. <laughs> All right, take it back, baby. That's 20 minutes already. Oh. Yeah, I get stiff sitting in this pen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. What beautiful babies. Bye, Mama. Bye-bye.